Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the channel. And I know you all chanting, saying, get to the point, get, get to the point, get to the point, get, get to the point. Deb Chanel, 48th World, get to the point. Okay, I'm going to get to the point. Well, we got another salacious story, and we're going to be talking about one of the real housewives of Atlanta. And no, it is not Kenya Moore. All right. We're going to talk about her sister, <laughs> at least on air sister. We're going to be talking about Portia Williams in the new social media news today. They're saying Portia is fighting with Dennis because of a prenup disagreement. And Portia saying, who said that? Well, honey, Radar Online said that about you. Is it true? Is it true? You and Dennis, you can't get Dennis to sign that prenup agreement, girl. You can't get him to sign that prenup. Diane, come get your child. Come get your child. Because I know you don't want to be on camera talking about your child and this foolishness with this man. And I know, we all know, the other sibling, not sibling, but um, grandmother is over there telling uh, Dennis, uh, get her to sign a prenup. Get her to sign a prenup. Or you're going to get your... um. Your uh, finance is taken away from you. Make her sign a prenup. So they're going back and forth about a doggone prenup. Now, Portia, baby, I thought when you took the man back, the man had already signed the prenup agreement. And if it's a situation where he's stalling and he he's feeling like he don't want to, you know, Sign on that dotted line, then drop him like a bad habit, girl. Kiss him goodbye. Poof, he's gone. Throw him in the wind, honey, and act like he didn't exist in your life besides helping you bring your baby girl, PJ, into the picture, okay? Ain't no, sit, ain't no sister carrying around no dead weight, okay? The man don't mean you no good. Now, you done had one knock at your door when he was caught cheating and at first he tried to say he wasn't cheating everybody and their mama was talking about him on the streets okay about being a no good dirty dog okay yes a no good dirty dog and then they were talking about all his other bad ways you know getting down with them animals well i guess he can't get a female or whatever i don't know all right but that's what the streets was hollering about then they were saying that you know you didn't want her to get in your finances and you didn't want to live in um, the country area or the suburban area. You want to have your little apartment uh, downtown where all the scenes or uh, all the, the happy life and the happy hours are going on. And you want to be with the hip crowd. And so you wanted Portia to sell her house and get one with you where you look like on the lease, uh, not on the lease, but on the mortgage uh, being the head, and then she's on that second uh, part as a, a uh, what do you call it? Not a, well, I guess a second mortgager on the house. So you didn't care too much for that because you know you didn't want to lose your money, your property, but then you wanted her to give up her property. Now you're back in the news talking about you ain't finna sign no prenup. <laughs> I'm like, Girl, where did you get him from and why can't you lose him already? All right, because he is definitely seeming like an opportunist. Then y'all supposedly done ink this deal where y'all going to be selling weed on the side. You remember that weed oil? I ain't seen that coming to fruition yet. Where, where the van at? Where the house visit you going to be making? Where are your shirts, your logos, promote that business, okay? Because he wanted to get in that. And that's something that you, well, I think it's called Carolina Weeds or something like that. You were supposed to be in that deal with him. I tell you, you and Cynthia, y'all just let these men put y'all in and everything. Like y'all ain't been rolling on these Atlanta streets since yesterday. Like y'all were born yesterday or something. All right, where are the mothers? Well, the mothers, but then again, I'm pretty sure y'all don't talk to y'all children and y'all tired. Y'all probably blue and black in the face. OK, so I get it. I, I definitely get it. Sometimes your children just got to learn the hard way. But it's just sad that they're going to have to be coming knocking at your door when, you know, like this will be Portia's second strike. In the uh, love department, but at least it ain't got to be her second marriage done went bad. So I'm like, Portia, pump your brakes all the way. Just turn off the car. Get out and just be single for a while. Y'all just need to co-parent so you can really see this man 
unravel before your eyes, before you take him and take his last name. Because just the other day I did a reporting story that um, the birth certificate is in uh, your daughter's last name. It's your name, Portia. It's PJ Williams, not PJ McKinley. What's up with that? You still ain't cleared that up for social media. For the folks, we the people that want to know, especially me, because that's a travesty. If you ain't got him, or you ain't got your baby girl's name and your baby daddy's name, I don't know what to say for you, honey. That's, that's a warning sign right there. That's all your three signs you need that this man is not good for you or your daughter. But since he is the biological father, he does have certain rights that he has to see the daughter, provide for the daughter, this, that, and the other. But there ain't no rights between you and him. And I find that you have a better pick out there. I don't know what's with you and Cynthia and Kenya going up here either manufacturing these men as storylines and, and, and false boyfriends and husbands and whatnot just to say you got a baby girl. Please, please. You could have did all of that without the help of even laying down with the man. Hell, you could have just got, like Kenya, artificially inseminated. And like Kenya, she's doing a surrogacy now where she's letting somebody else carry her baby because she just don't want to stretch out that perfect body that she has fine-tuned, okay? And I ain't got nothing wrong with her. And, you know, she had some problems with carrying Ace, you know, the last time. So I'm sure she didn't want to do all that, but she still has a desire to have kids. So I understand all that. But you and this Dennis McKinley not want to sign no prenup. Girl, kiss him, blow him away. But let's get into the article and see what the article was talking about. Because like I said, you know, you and I, we got to get in this article together. I read it. We uh, ascertain the situation together. I make my comments after we read the article fully. And then I give y'all an opportunity to get out in them comments and express to me what you thought. Kind of like a two-way conversation, but I'm giving all the conversation first. And then I have to wait till you all get in that comments and tell me, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Or, uh, yeah, I didn't see it that way. This is how I saw it. And you give me eloquent lean on statements, y'all don't verify the information, y'all even add on to my storyline that I'm giving out to y'all, which is Peachy King with me, which is Peachy King, because then I know that you like what I'm doing, and you want to further the conversation, and I got time for it, yes I do, I have time each and every day to go, that the Lord wake me up and give me voice to come in and give you my commentary and slide y'all a little thing in here and there, and boy, you know, I might be beating on a drama, playing a guitar, okay? Just entertainment, people, that's all it is. Just bear with me. I'm emotional like that. Sometimes I have to give y'all a little bit more than what you're asking for. Just bear with me, okay? So it's almost like being in a seminar, and then a person get up there at the podium and start speaking, and then you you get lost in the uh, presentation because they just dragging on, on, and on, and ain't no, you know, uh, pictures in between, or are you just getting tired of him being up there with the same tone of voice, the same mannerisms, and the same structure in his body language. So I try to give y'all a little, y'all don't know when something coming, it just shocks the shit out of y'all, and y'all either gonna laugh, or y'all gonna be like, what the hell wrong with this woman type of scenario, okay? So just wanted to put reference on that for the ones that say, you know, all this negative stuff, okay? Just a little clarification. Sometimes I can give it to you, but sometimes you still won't drink the water. You just still won't drink the water. But I tell you, give me 60 seconds of your time. And if it's if it's just irritating you after 60 seconds, turn me off, honey. I don't want you to hurt your eyes. I don't want you to hurt your ears because you need both of them in this lifetime. But getting back to the article, it was given out by Radar Online and Reality TV, okay? Didn't give me a journalist, so I'm going to say staff reporter. They titled it, uh, Portia Williams' prenup drama causes fights with fiancé on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She wants to protect her money. Published October 1st, okay? I'm like, girl, you need to protect your assets. It's not just you no more. It's PJ, and you don't gave her a certain way of living. She's accustomed to certain things, and she don't want to fall below her standards of living, okay? She won't have it, Portia. She's used to the best, so we need to continue keeping her in the best. And if her daddy is going to uh, forfeit that right in any way, then so be it. Let the cookies fall where they may. He can just come pick her up on visitation days. But she's saying, I like my house. I like my 
old wagons that y'all drag me around in. Y'all call them strollers. I like my atmosphere, my environment. Y'all said she like her home, okay? She probably like all her carpet that she roll around and play with. And she don't want none of that to change, okay? She likes her food she's intaking. Because we know she's a healthy looking baby, pretty as can be. But Portia, I don't know what you feeding that girl over there. Are you giving her too much cereal before time? But anyway, not my business. Pretty baby, continue to doing you. All right. But it goes on to say Dennis McKinley and his baby mama bickering over money as Bravo rolls the cameras. Okay, see, that's what I'm saying. A house divided shall never stand. I don't care if it's a personal thing or if it's a business thing. If both people, all people that's in the situation are not on one accord, it shall not stand. It shall not stand. It's going to be total chaos. But going back to the article, it says, I ain't saying he's a gold digger. That's Jamie Foxx. But he ain't messing with no broke sister either, either. He ain't messing with no broke sister either, either. I'm just saying, is he a gold digger, y'all? Mm. Check him out. You tell me in them comments. It says Portia Williams' prenup is causing drama and fights with her fiancé, Dennis McKinley, on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. R Radar Online has exclusively learned. Ever since she got back together with Dennis, the two of them have been fighting over finances and insider dish to radar. Now, I don't know if Portia is that insider, okay? Or is it one of her best buds getting some paid time for some uh, information drop-off, okay? <laughs> paid time for some information drop-off. That's coming from the OG way of looking at it. That's me, Deb Chanel's for this world. Okay, um, it says Portia and Dennis have had multiple fights on camera about the prenup, the source field about the Real Housewives of Atlanta drama. They yeah. have had at least two blowouts. Two blowouts that were filmed for the show. Now, if that was just filmed, I'm wondering how many whoo, putting hands on a situation. <laughs> Portia them probably threw pillows, shoes, umbrellas, anything that can fly and hurt once it hits the uh, designated target. Okay, especially them red bottoms. That's platform. She probably tore his head upside with that without him knowing it just came abruptly through the air and simultaneously hit him all at once. I'm just saying, I don't know, but I'm getting the visual in my head, people. I'm just getting the visual in my head. But it said it had two on-screen blowouts, okay, that was caught on uh, filming. We're doing filming. Caught on film. Okay, it says, as radar readers know, Portia broke up with Dennis earlier this year, or in the year after their baby daughter, Pillar Johanna, was born. But Dennis reproposed while they were filming Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, see, that's what you call a male attention for a seeker, okay? Just like Kenya saw uh, as soon to be ex husband call her attention for, he's a female. I mean, he's a male attention for. He always wants to be in part in them cameras. And I'm like, man, what are you doing? You're doing too much. We don't have Peter. And y'all know I've always said that Peter was the originary peach holder. But then we had to silence him because he was just getting in too much women's business. All right. You can't go both ways. You got to be in the woman's business. And that's being a woman. But you got to be in the fellas business. That's being a man. Can't cross over. Okay. Stay in your lane is what we say in the old school. Stay in your lane. All right. And it won't be no misunderstanding. So going back to the article, it said uh, she said yes for, to the second proposal, um, but had had trouble getting Dennis to sign the prenup. Now, see, she had the trouble the first go around. She having it again the second go around. Honey, talk to Candy Burris. She done told you. I don't know how magnificent um, Todd is going to fare. If anything happened to Candy or their relationship, how much money he going to get since he's invested time, you know, into this situation. I'm sure Candy was banking way more than what Todd was putting out. I'm just saying, I'm just going on what they're giving me. I ain't, I'm just speculating. I don't know, because, you know, Todd could have been a little millionaire himself, but I don't know. He was behind them cameras, and Phaedra had to seek him out. So, he, to me, he kind of looked like a do boy <laughs> or a do man at the time. So, uh, I don't know how that goes with Candy love her husband. She always said, don't mess with my man, my money, and my food. And we're going to add the uh, family in there too, okay? But going back to the article, it said uh, Portia has more money than Dennis, okay? The insider admitted to Radar, and she wants to protect 
everything just in case it doesn't work out after all. Yes, protect your assets. We see how Cordell uh, Stewart left you high and dry. Don't be a person like that no more. Don't be left out in the rain without your umbrella and your little boots, okay? Because them shoes need protection. Because we know you like wearing nice shoes, okay? So we need protection on all facets of your life because Jenna... Pillar Johanna need her money. She needs her environment to stay the same, if not better, okay? While he ain't thinking about you and the baby, you need to think about you and the baby. Uh, going back to the article, it says, um, at Radar exclusively reported that Portia got a big raise for season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, I know my fact checkers out there, they say the information that they be putting out there about their sales are not true. But, hey, it gives us a ballpark figure of where we can play it and guesstimate. But they're saying that uh, Portia was earning $1.25 million to, and now she's increased her assets, her uh, sustainability over there at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's making $1.3 million for the new season of Drama with Dennis, okay? According to the insider, Portia's breakup and makeup has been a major storyline on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, because some of us are wondering, are they manufactured? You know, are y'all really taking these wedding vows serious, all right? Uh, and anticipating wedding vows. Y'all, you just pulling our leg or something just to have a storyline. That's what we think that I hear. We the people, okay? We don't know. We just going with what y'all give us and we just speculating on it. Now, going back to the article, it says all of the drama is a big part of the show, and Dennis is right there willing to film with Portia, just sort of snitched to radar. Yes, of course, because we didn't know who he was. He's a hot dog stop, a hot dog seller, a hot dog owner of a business of some sort. And then they said he kind of snatched those businesses away from some people and some hairline companies. So, no, nah, Dennis can't be trusted. So, honey, and Portia, if your radar is up, and the tenors are just going, woo, 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 woo. Yeah, okay, head zoned in on your soon uh, to be fiance husband. Yeah, you need to drop him like a bad habit. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like a hard. Drop it like a hard. Just like uh, Snoop Dogg said, all right? But going back to the article, it says, uh, and so is his mom. They really, they are really good at getting the fights on camera, okay? She must be his PR person as well as his manager. So she's trying to make money for her uh, son as well as herself and that hot dog stand because it seemed like a little restaurant to me but you know I ain't catering too much to no hot dogs if I want a serious hot dog I'm going down to the varsity all right on Peachtree Street yeah that's where I go get my real hot slaw cold slaw dogs yes that's a dirty soft hot dog place to be that's the varsity if you ever come visit it you want a good stadium hot dog that's where you go varsity uh anyway Going back to the article, it says uh, you can look through the gallery of pictures that they have, and uh, it gives you subtitles where it says bonded. It says Dennis can't stay away from the cameras. The source told Radar saying their drama was unfolding as film filming continued throughout the season. We know that. That's all we've been seeing is it's behind. Uh, it has another subtitle that says bling out. Portia stopped wearing her $750,000 diamond engagement ring, but we know she popped it back on. After he proposed to her again, then it just goes on on bended knee when he actually reproposed to her. And of course, another subtitle saying not shy, not camera shy at all. No, because he's trying to get his name out there. His business is very uh, short money he's got going on. <laughs> OK, especially if he's hanging around the ports of uh, po um, points of Portia. OK, so we know. She's coming up and she's coming up fast. She's a lovable person on Real Housewives of Atlanta. You know she good with them hands. She would put hands on you in a minute if she feels threatened. But we don't send her to anger management classes, so she should be shying away from all that nonsense, okay? But that's pretty much the gist of this story. Y'all get in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it, what y'all feel about it. Because I tell you, these men are coming up uh, as like opportunists. Okay, they ain't trying to work hard and do the right thing and provide, you know what I'm saying? They trying to come up as uh, opportunists and trying to ride the coattail. Now, just like some rich, famous, you know, men out there, they want to print up, then it should be uh, quite apparent that if it's on the flip side where the female is making all that money, they want protection too, okay? So, raw, man, it's just things have kind of shifted in a way where women are roaring and they are making the bread and bringing it home and paying all of the cost to be the boss. 
So yeah, again, y'all tell me what y'all thought about the video, and I'll see you next time on Get to the Point. Get, get to the point. Yes, you know, get to the point. Stop talking all that junk. All right, see y'all next video. Bye-bye.